Marcella uh, has done a lot of things with networks, and uh, so that's the reason why I'm happy to uh, have her here to introduce all of us to networks. Although you might have realized already from your own work and the work and what, what Michele shows that cosmography is not only social network analysis, but we all know it's a highly important part of it. So, Marcella. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, sorry. Just... <laughs> okay, so thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to uh, present uh, <laughs> an introduction to networks in this school. Uh, so, Georg already uh, introduced me, uh, just uh, a few information now. Um, I am a postdoc here in the ACDH. Uh, my, my background is more um, uh, related to computer science and mathematics. And during my PhD, I mostly worked uh, um, on information spreading networks, studying the uh, spreading of fake news. Uh, and today, uh, I will give you a brief introduction to uh, the works of networks, as uh, we already told you, um, not only social networks, because social network analysis is like a subset of network science. Uh, and uh, um, of course, in 50 minutes, it's, it's difficult <laughs> to introduce a lot of stuff. So um, I will start with the basic concept. And uh, I hope that uh, they are not too basic <laughs> because in the introduction, I heard that uh, some people is already working with networks. So uh, I hope that uh, there will be a trade-off. And uh, okay, so let's go. Okay, so um, you can see here uh, some pictures that show very different uh, um, words phenomena. So, for example, uh, the um, metro of Vienna, um, the, the map of the, of the metro, um, then uh, uh, the, the virus spreading uh, that is <laughs> sadly <laughs> quite uh, uh, famous now, uh, politics or uh, uh, our neurons uh, in the brain, and what have uh, in common this uh, uh, this phenomenon that they can be represented uh, with the networks because they are made of entities uh, that are connected uh, among them uh, through some type of relations. So network science is an emerging field, uh, let's say in the last 15, 20 years. Uh, and it is as the earth of the, um, a wider um, field of science that is complex systems. So what is complexity? Uh, I think that um, Stephen Hawking uh, gave a, a, a very good uh, um, answer uh, when uh, a journalist um, asked uh, him uh, uh, what he thought uh, about the fact that uh, um, the, the 20th century uh, is uh, always defined as the century of biology and the 21st century uh, would be the one of physics because the emerging field of quantum physics and so on. And he, he answered that uh, actually the 21st century will be the century of complexity. And this is, this is um, uh, really a, a, let's say a key answer uh, because uh, the complex system science is really uh, a new paradigm uh, for science that is um, um, replacing the old uh, reductionist uh, paradigm. So let's say that before we uh, 
were trying to understand complex systems uh, looking at their com components. And now with the new uh, computational tools that we have uh, and uh, um, big data, of course, uh, and uh, other tools, uh, we are able to see these systems uh, as uh, a whole thing. So it is really a, a new way of thinking. Uh, and uh, uh, we are not looking only at the component, uh, at each component separately, um, but we are uh, looking at the whole behavior and evolution of this system. And of course, behind of each complex system, there is a network because we are looking at these interactions uh, between uh, the components. So in this framework, <laughs> I think that prosopography uh, can fit very well. Uh, so this is um, uh, a screenshot of this uh, uh, project uh, of this page office. Uh, we can see here there are a lot of um, entities. The, uh, the, the green ones are the people. Please correct me if I'm <laughs> telling something that is not correct. And the blue one are the, the, the city. Um, so uh, basically we have that each person is related to, uh, uh, is connected to, to, to the city. Uh, and of course, uh, I, can, I will show you then on Thursday how uh, we can obtain more networks from this, for example. Uh, but um, just to show that uh, the, 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 the network are the, the natural um, tool to, to, to let's say, um, uh, in, in the framework of prosopography. So uh, I will give you some basic concept now uh, about graph, uh, graph theory, that is the, the, let's say, the mathematical basis of uh, uh, natural science. Uh, and then we will go to other more complex uh, concepts. So uh, networks and graphs. Um, sometimes these terms are used uh, mutually interchangeably, uh, but actually, uh, to be precise, the network usually refers to the real system we are modeling. So, for example, uh, a social network, uh, the protein protein interaction network, the dub dub dub, and it's okay. And the graph is the mathematical object used to represent. The network. Uh, so, for example, you can see here we have different networks, uh, but uh, here we have a biological network, here we have a um, computer network, here a social network, but actually all these are, can be represented with this graph. And this is um, okay. So, um, how, uh, when the, the graph theory uh, emerged? Uh, the, the first mathematician to um, introduce graph theory was uh, Euler. <laughs> I hope the pronunciation is correct. Right. Um, in uh, the, um, because he, he was living in uh, Königsberg and uh, he was, um, asking strange questions, <laughs> so he, he was trying to understand if it was possible to um, walk across uh, the seven bridges of the town without never cross the, and never cross the, 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 the same bridge twice. So mathematicians do these strange things sometimes. And uh, so he modeled the, the, the city uh, with uh, four regions separated by the by these bridges, and uh, um, he uh, built this graph where um, the the links are the uh, the bridges, uh, and the nodes are the the regions of the uh, of the town. And actually, he um, gave uh, as an answer this theorem, uh, 
that if the graph has more than two nodes with odd degree, degree you will see after it's the number of uh, uh, leaks um, that are um, uh, going out or into a node, and uh, there is no path. But if the graph is connected and has no hot degree nodes, it has at least one path. So it's just to give you an idea of how graph theory uh, was born. So uh, this is the mathematical formulation. We have a graph. A graph is um, a mathematical object. Um, it, oops. Um, named uh, usually G, and it is the, uh, represented by a set of vertices or nodes and a set of edges, links. And usually we refer to the nodes with some uh, IDs. Uh, and so we have the, the, the vertex or some names, but here for simplicity I use it, uh, numbers. So um, we have the, the set of vertices and the set of edges are simply the uh, uh, couple of nodes that are linked. Uh, a graph can be uh, undirected, so meaning that for each um, node, uh, for each uh, links uh, um, i, j, uh, it is the same of j, j e, i, and uh, uh, or can be directed. Uh, so, for example, here um, we have one, two, is an edges, but two one is not an edges of this uh, graph. And when we have a directed edges, we uh, refer to the first node as a source, and with the last uh, node uh, as a target. And uh, usually we will see this on Thursday. Um, we build networks um, from. Um, the, the list of their edges. Okay, so, so some other um, basic properties of networks uh, or graphs. A graph can be simple, so we have only one edge among two nodes, or it can be a multigraph, as the graph uh, we saw before, um, made by Euler. Um, so there are multiple edges among two nodes. Then a graph can be weighted, uh, meaning that we assign uh, a weight to each edge. And these uh, weights are numbers that can represent um, the capacity, if it is, for example, uh, um, transportation network, uh, cost or payments, if we have a um, financial network, uh, the strength of relations, for example, in social network. So, for example, how much do uh, two people uh, interact together? Or the number of connections. So, we can um, transform this multigraph in a simple graph and put, for example, here we have two links and we put the number two in the simple version. That is like a projection of the um, so, just to summarize, uh, we, ha uh, we have directed, undirected, simple, multigraph, weighted, not weighted. But of course, much more, because, for example, we have this uh, uh, dynamic networks in which uh, we had uh, leads that uh, uh, appear and disappear, nodes that appear and disappear, and so on. So, let's go to the most primordial thing. Um, concept, yes. The degree of a, uh, a node is usually um, uh, indicated as uh, Ki, um, and it, the number of links connected to, to a node. So, for example, the degree of one is five here, the degree of two uh, is one, the degree of three is three. <laughs> and uh, in directed graph, uh, we can distinguish an in degree and out degree. 
And of course, the sum of this in and out degree will be uh, the degree. Uh, the average degree of the nodes uh, is like the, the average of all the, the, the degrees of the nodes, but it, it, it is, um, it has to be, it, 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 uh, it was found that actually this measures is a constant and it is the number of links um, on the number of two, two, two times the number of links uh, over the number of nodes. And actually, this is uh, just uh, uh, a table with uh, some famous network um, with their uh, properties. So, for example, we have the internet, the dub, 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 uh, a power grid, um, a mobile calls network, and so on. And you see that even if we have very different uh, um, scales here of nodes and link, the average network is actually uh, defined by their um, relation. So just to, to show, um, let's say we have very, a very different uh, uh, words that uh, appear uh, to, to uh, that, that we can model uh, with the same uh, framework and actually this is the, the, the power of networks that we can find um, common properties or very different world and um, so it is easier than to apply to the different uh, uh, subjects. So connectedness is a very uh, important issue of network. Uh, we have um, a path that is a sequence of um, adjacent nodes. So for example, if we want to go uh, from 8 to 2, this is an example of path 8, 7, 1, 5, 3, 1, 2. Uh, but the distance between two nodes is defined uh, as the number of edges along the shortest path connecting them. So, for example, the distance among 8 and 2 is actually 3 because this is the, the shortest path uh, connecting them. Um, please note that in directed graphs, uh, also the distance are directed. So, it, it, uh, the distance among uh, i and j is different from the distance uh, among j and i. And the diameter is the maximum distance between any pair of nodes in the graph. So for example, the, the diameter of this network is four because the maximum distance is four from eight to four, uh, this. Uh, and uh, so one, one question could be uh, how long are the, the diameter in networks? And this was a very nice experiment um, made by uh, a sociologist, Vigra, in the 60s. Uh, I will try to give this spot about social network because I, I think that they fit better with sociology. Uh, so this is... <clears throat> Uh, an experiment um, that made uh, that was made by uh, Milgram. Uh, he uh, selected uh, um, a sample of people living in Nebraska, and he asked them to uh, try to reach a person in uh, Boston, and uh, they had to send a letter to a person that they uh, thought uh, to be connected or to be more um, close to, to, to the final person in, uh, uh, in Boston. And to, to keep trace of this, um, of this path, uh, he asked also to, uh, send, uh, to send him uh, a notification of this um, of this sending, let's say. So, um, the, the result was very interesting because uh, the, uh, 
number of intermediaries uh, was around six. And, and the, this was, is known, maybe you know, as the uh, six degree separation uh, experiment. Um, and uh, it was, um, let's say, a, a first try. Uh, so the number of this chain were uh, very low, it was like about 60 uh, person. So it was not so statistically relevant, but actually now that Facebook exists, um, the researchers have, has, um, have um, computed this number so the, 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 the probability of distance among nodes uh, for uh, the Facebook in the US and also worldwide. <laughs> Actually, the, the distance, the, the average distance among people is um, even lower. So it is about um, four, five uh, degrees. So it means that we uh, probably um, uh, are uh, <coughs> uh, very connected uh, as a society. And this uh, could be, for example, um, when you have a social network, um, a way to test is uh, also to see, for example, um, how, uh, uh, let's say, which has the, the uh, which is the, this uh, average uh, distance. Uh, because if it is too high, maybe the network is not so uh, representative uh, in the case of social networks. Um, then, of course, uh, we can define um, the connectedness. Um, a graph is connected if there is a path among any couple of nodes. So, for example, uh, this is um, connected. Uh, how, can, uh, how can we disconnect it? We can remove edges and obtain, of course, a disconnected graph. Uh, this is the, the, the normal situation usually when we deal uh, uh, with very large networks. We have a giant component uh, that is the, the largest connected component and uh, uh, a galaxy of isolated uh, components like couples of nodes or isolated nodes. And uh, this is a very important notion. Uh, what is a, a bridge? A bridge is an edge that if it is erased, the graph becomes disconnected. So for example, one seven is a bridge, um, but also one two is a bridge or three, four is a bit. And why this, uh, with, why these edges are so important? Uh, this is uh, an example of why they are so important in social networks. Um, this is the Grand Vector experiments and other sociologists uh, in the 70s. Uh, it, showed, it showed that uh, um, the um, weak ties, so the with ties are a sort of bridges, are more important in gaining new job opportunities because he was exploring um, how people uh, uh, look for job. And he found that um, they are more likely to, to find a job when they um, ask to people that, it, that are not in the immediate community. So for example, um, I don't know, your schoolmates or something like that. People that you know from a long time but you don't have a strict relation with. Uh, so probably in the, your social network, uh, they maybe are not in your community or are uh, in the boundary, let's say. And uh, this is because um, the, the strong ties, so I mean the, 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 the links uh, that connect us with people that uh, we, we stay more with um, and we communicate more, have, more sim have a similar information. So uh, this is why weak ties are, are very uh, important. But then actually they have been studied 
uh, studied also in the information spreading, um, information spreading networks, and uh, they appear to be really, really, really important for uh, information spreading. So, uh, some measures. Um, uh, there are a lot of uh, centrality measures that are, um, let's say, measured to find most significant uh, central nodes. But what is a, a central node? What is a significant node? This is a, <laughs> a difficult question because actually it depends a lot on the phenomenon that you uh, are representing um, and, model it, and it, it modeling with the network. Uh, for example, in an information propagation network, an important node can be a node that can influence others and spread information faster. So, for example, the hubs are very important. Uh, the hubs are the node with many links. I would agree. Um, but, for example, in transportation network, an important node can be a node that can connect or disconnect to components. Um, so, for example, here we have this red one uh, uh, that is very important because if, um, we, if we remove it, uh, the, the network disconnects. So, I just give you uh, a very simple list of centrality measures, just three. The first one is just the degree. Uh, so the, 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 the degree of the nodes. Uh, so the highest degree nodes are named hubs, and it is like a measure of popularity. Um, then we have a closeness centrality, that is, centrality that is the average length of the distance among the nodes and all other nodes in the network. So lower value for these uh, measures um, translating faster spreading. But for, for, for example, the limitation of this closeness is that the values of neighbors are very, very similar uh, to each other. So if, you, if we want to make um, a, a ranking, um, sometimes it is difficult. Um, or uh, another um, famous measure is between us. Um, that measures the number of times uh, a node is in the shortest path between two other nodes. Uh, this is um, that has also uh, a limitation because one could say that uh, not always, um, let's say, the flow uh, chooses the, the, the shortest path. But it's really important to detect uh, quickly uh, these nodes, these bridges. Because, of course, if we consider shortest path among any nodes of this part and any nodes of this part, any short path, shortest path among this will pass through these nodes. So, in this network, this will be the, the nodes with I, I guess, I guess uh, um, between the centrality, and if we want to, to detect uh, these um, nodes that uh, are named broken uh, among bridges, uh, between the centrality is the perfect um, measure that we can use. And finally, another very important measure is the clustering coefficient. Um, this uh, measure um, how much the nodes tend to cluster among each other um, locally or globally. So the, the general uh, definition of clustering coefficients is the number of closed triplets over the number of possible triplets. Right. Uh, so um, we have um, just to, to um, to give you, uh, let's say, uh, a way to see it. When I have uh, two friends, 
uh, so I have to link to other two people. Uh, clustering coefficient will measure how um, it will be likely that these um, two people connect uh, among them. So, for example, um, uh, the uh, clustering coefficient of three is one over three because we have um, possible uh, uh, the possible triangles, including the node three, are three. So we have um, three one five, three one four, and. Uh, um, Three, five, uh, three, four, five, and uh, but the, the the only one that is closed is three, one, five. Uh, these dotted lines are only to, to show uh, where what where um, what were the, the others. And um, uh, for example, the clustering coefficient of four is zero because we don't have closed uh, uh, triangles involved in four and the close and the um, classic coefficient of five is one, so the only triangle involving um, involving these nodes. Um, then we can uh, we can define locally for each node, or we can define uh, globally for all networks for all the networks. And um, this uh, is a, a very uh, important. Uh, measure to, to consider in uh, uh, in social network um, and uh, uh, we switch that uh, to uh, network topology uh, so topology is the structure of the network um, here there are the um, two most famous um, topologies that um, uh, let's say exist in networks um, this is a, a random network and this is a scale-free network. Which is the difference? Here, um, we have um, that links uh, are uh, randomly uh, assigned, let's say, among nodes. And here, as you notice, there are nodes, here the uh, colored one, uh, that have a higher degree respect to uh, a lot of others uh, that have lower degree. And um, this is a very, very simple definition. But the, it is a very important concept because actually a lot of uh, network involving human activities has been found to be uh, scale-free. And these scale-free networks have a lot of properties. Um, uh, I mean, they, they behave very different uh, uh, to a random network. Um, so this is an example. Uh, for example, the, the, the network of highways in the US is more random. And the, uh, let's say the, the degree distribution, so the probability that the node has uh, a certain degree, follow um, a bell cure. Uh, so we have most of the nodes have the same number of links, and there are no highly connected nodes. And indeed, we know that if you have, when you have a highway um, network, uh, basically you can reach each um, each town, um, and there are uh, no uh, towns with uh, a lot of highways. Uh, but this is very different from for uh, air traffic. So usually we have airports that have that have a lot a lot of flights and uh, a lot of airports with um, a few number of flights. And uh, this is um, uh, the scale free uh, behavior and the degree distribution here follow a uh, um, power law distribution meaning that we have a lot of nodes with a uh, few links, so low degree, and a few nodes with very high, uh, very high degree. Uh, so, um, as I told you before, um, 
many known networks are scale free. So, for example, here there are some examples the, the web. Uh, it is here represented. You can see the hubs and the, this fractal um, structure, let's say. But also biological networks, for example, the protein protein interaction network. Uh, and a lot of um, networks involving human activities uh, are. Uh, Scale free. But why studying the topology is so important? Because to find common structures, uh, I mean, to, fi to find common structures in completely different data and define general properties. And these properties can be topology dependent. So, for example, I want to, to give you this because it's uh, uh, famous now for. Uh, uh, for the, the, the corona spreading. Um, when we studied the, the, the epidemic spreading of a virus, uh, we know that um, epidemic pressure does not exist in scale-free networks. So we live in a social network. We, we are connected to each other in a scale-free uh, network. And we know that is in this uh, type of topology, um, I don't know if you ever heard of this uh, R0 factor in this case uh, about the, the corona spreading, yes. So if uh, this uh, R0 is below 1, in uh, a random network, the, the, the virus disappears. So I do it differently. But in, it, it was, this was a very nice result from the Spinelli in 2001. In scale-free networks, uh, it does not. So um, the, if the, the, uh, the, the, the reproduction number R0 is be below 1, we have no exponential growth to disappear news, but the virus does not disappear. So this is the bad news. And so we have this um, wave uh, that you are probably uh, hearing now uh, about it. Um, so, I mean, and this is very, very important because um, before these results, um, the, the, all the epidemic uh, studies uh, were considering, let's say, random network, and, but actually social network is not random. Um, and also another, uh, I didn't put here, but actually um, to study topology is important because when we have to, to, to look at some, um, um, some patterns in the network, it, is, it can be useful to compare to the random one version to see if this property is due to the network to, to the structure of the network uh, or not. And also, if we find a way to reproduce these artificial networks, we can simulate phenomena to explore different scenarios. So, for example, um, also in uh, uh, cosmography, we, I think that we can, um, if, we, if, we, uh, if you want to explore, uh, I don't know, uh, some phenomena on your network, um, maybe you can um, reproduce um, uh, another network with similar properties, similar topology, and see if the, the, the process uh, acts, uh, behaves in the same way or not. Um, and finally, the very, another very important issue of net regarding network are communities. So, um, the main um, topic um, uh, behind this, is the main concept, is uh, homophily. That is the tendency of individuals to connect uh, uh, to, other with, to other similar individuals. So, you, we know that in social networks, uh, the relationships are based uh, um, on uh, similar characteristics as age, language, education, uh, and so on. And here, for example, it is a, a, a social network of um, friendship in a high school, American high school, 
and uh, uh, the nodes are colored uh, with, uh, uh, let's say, the ethnicity of the of individuals. And you see that people tend to cluster uh, white with white and uh, black with black. So we have a very clustered networks. And this is also, uh, these other two communities are the age, uh, even if it's not. Uh, show it by color. Uh, so they, they um, tend to, to, to cluster by age and by uh, ethnicity. Uh, and um, the, the other, let's say, how, how can we um, study this uh, homophily? Um, we introduce the concept of uh, modularity, that is the fraction of edges connected, uh, connected similar nodes. Uh, minus the expected number of edges uh, connected similar node according to uh, an attribute in a random graph. So it was uh, the same thing that I was telling be uh, before. Um, we compare basically how, for example, how the people with same ethnicity um, are uh, connected together uh, comparing to um, a, same network, the, a network with the same degree distribution and we see if there is uh, a, si a signal or not. And uh, we, see, we can define the network is um, assortative, is um, a significant portion of the edge uh, connects node nodes with similar properties. Uh, otherwise it is disassortative. Uh, here, for example, if we consider the attributes um, of the degree, we can see that the node is assortative if, uh, um, here, for example, we have that uh, uh, these are scale-free networks, both, but um, here um, we have that, um, uh, let's say, uh, the, the, the hub stands to connect together. So the, the nodes with highest degree tend to connect with nodes with highest degree. And here, for example, we have the, this assortative um, behavior that is nodes with highest degree tend to connect only with nodes with um, low degree. And nodes with low degree are not connected uh, among each other. So we have this star, um, this star uh, behavior. As uh, I showed you before, um, for example, the, the, the web is highly disassortative. And this is a list of uh, famous networks. Ah, so yes, assortative is a, a, a measure that can be from uh, uh, minus one to one, and one uh, means assort assortativity and minus one is assortativity. So these are um, examples of the assertivity coefficients in real network and you can see that social networks tend to be highly uh, assortative. I mean, I know that you expect one, but um, practical, uh, these are uh, high numbers, 0.3. And uh, um, technological and biological networks tend to be uh, disassortative. Um, but, I mean, we are still studying this because um, there are more complex uh, relationships related to this. And finally, um, how to find communities in networks. Uh, the point, there are many, 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 many algorithms and every year <laughs> other algorithms appear because um, I mean, there is no um, a best algorithm. It depends, of course, on what you are modeling, what are, you are looking for. But since I mentioned modularity, uh, I will mention only the, 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 the simple um, uh, methods that are based on trying to maximize the uh, modularity. So this measure of similarity among nodes uh, according to an attribute. Um, and so these methods, uh, trying to maximize modularity, uh, searching over all the possible partition of the network, um, the one that have uh, highest uh, 
my large value. And uh, I will show you this on Thursday, how it works. This is the Louvain algorithm, and it is usually the, one of the most used. And um, these are the tools, the most famous tools uh, to uh, build and analyze networks. Uh, this is a package um, uh, available for R and Python um, that basically um, has implemented all the measures and uh, also methods to build network to um, uh, compare and uh, uh, so on. This is uh, another important package uh, only available for Python. Um, and this is um, a tool that is very useful for, uh, for analysis and also for visualization, GFE. But actually, let's talk, this. Uh, let's talk about this on uh, Thursday. And so some reference. Um, we have this for um, uh, academic press um, books uh, that are basically the, the, the most used and famous about network science. For these two, uh, there is um, an online version. So if you are uh, interested, you can easily access them. And, but I can give you also the, the other one. And if you want only uh, just uh, a more popular science idea, these are for um, uh, I mean, important books, um, which, I mean, they, they are popular science, so they are easier to, to, to read. And then some useful links of institutions that um, develop, uh, let's say, natural studies. So that's all from my side, if you have questions. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I, I'm missing the applause. There is an applause button for in the Zoom, which doesn't make a sound. Uh, anyway, uh, questions in the room or elsewhere? You had your list with the um, types of assertiveness uh, in the slide. Um, did I see an historical data set? Or is this just something which they like nobody has well, well, done yet? That's the slide of the certificate table. I think. Ah, uh, dear, yeah. In the surf networks, uh, is this. No, I yeah, think. Obviously, nobody used ever all the political data existent yeah. um, to do the same calculations yes. because it's the typical things, okay, or call the ships in current publication. So let's use the last 10 years of publications and look who, uh, who published with whom. Um, or film actors is the typical thing. Everybody sees movies in their large movie databases and we all know actors appear in not only one movie. Um, the student relationships is what? Well, okay. It's like, for example, the, the friendship relationship uh, that I showed you here. So what kind of data set is this? It's like a friendship network from American high school. They have so the, the, uh, they survey, ask people. Yes, yeah, survey, and also now there are a lot of studying doing this with face to face. Um, uh, let's say they collect uh, data, yeah. putting a sensor. Ah, ah, yeah. ah, a kind of Corona app for Corona app. Yes, existing. yes. Okay. Yeah, we, we, we made an experiment in a network science conference yeah. because we made experiments before <laughs> <of us. laughs> and it was uh, they, they were very funny results uh, about how people interact uh, it, just, it was just uh, to encourage all of you to say okay this is these data sets we are creating are um, well should be studied and um, I would be uh, highly interested if this current trends you know, somehow demonstrated here, it can be reproduced under these uh, conditions of uh, reduced information, which is the typical graphical problem. 
that we know only some things about the people and cannot do a survey and put the tax on the people and look how much, how often they talk to all these in the background and don't get into the minutes. Okay, any uh, other comments, questions? Yes, yes, they are on the sheet. They, they should be, if they are on link to the program, somebody should, should have to uh, put the link into the program. No. Not yet. So we have to add the link. Okay, I, I added it to GitHub, so I don't know. There is the, the program uh, RST uh, where somebody has to add the link to okay. it, into the program. Anyway, if we if you want more information, you can write me, of course, I am available. And, and Marcella will return on, on Thursday. Yes, uh, yes, yes. When we can, you can do all these details um, and, and experiment with it. We probably won't get into the uh, community protection elements in yes. everyone. Yes. <laughs> I will try to do something. <laughs> but, um, and actually, if there are no questions, I just have just a few uh, three slides to, to give you the, the <laughs> challenge of the, of networks next. I <laughs> expect it. No. Well, yeah. Questions. And nobody else from the outside is asking something. Okay, so for example, um, um, this is a challenging new concept of networks that is multi-layered and I guess that this is um, really important for physiography but actually I saw that they are already used, uh, for example Florian um, showed this in a conference, I, I guess that he will uh, show. Um, so basically we have networks um, with the same entities uh, that are connected uh, in different ways because they are uh, representing different phenomena. And uh, it is very interesting to see, uh, for example, I don't know if the communities are the same uh, or uh, how they uh, evolve because we can represent different types of relationships at the same time. Uh, or signal networks uh, where we assign uh, um, uh, a sign that um, represents the, um, the nature of the link. So, for example, if we have a positive relation or a negative relation, and we can try to find an equilibrium with game theory. Um, for example, we, uh, a, a triangle with four pluses is stable, and we look for how many triangles, stable triangles there are. Yes, by the way, um, uh, because we have this study by a colleague in Jena, did by the, the classics, this in high medieval uh, Noma in the German Empire, where he studies how stable are these triangles and uh, do they reproduce? Uh, they reproduce, but by some if they were uh, distorted, etc. So that would be an example of this kind yes. of, of question in practical cryptography. And also, of course, dynamic networks that are also important when you assign a time. And you see what happens in time. So if new links appear or disappear, for example, here and the, the, the challenge are of course leap prediction, how uh, how it is possible that uh, uh, some uh, new links appear, or the community's evolution. So if uh, there is a community that at some point disappear, uh, even detections and temporal motives, and now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And uh, thank you again. Thank you.